Hey guys, Gameplay here, and today I will be showing you how to download and install custom planes from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, so first of all, what you want to do, you want to open your chosen browser, for me that is Google Chrome. And then the search bar, you need to search Flight Away Simulation. You need to click on the top link. And this is the website. So first of all, once you're on the website, you need to click on the search button. And really searching for downloads, you can search for what you want. So you can search for 737, 747, an A320, or really anything. But I'm going to search for a 777. Once we open the list, we will be greeted with a lot of options, um, and this can be quite daunting for newer flight simmers. Uh, so, what we need to do, we need to refine it. To do this, you need to press Control F on your keyboard. This will bring up this little white box in the corner. Mel will bring up the not so good jets, the good to mess around in but now nah, I wouldn't recommend them for actual simulation uh, so we need to remember not to download the Meljet ones what you need to do instead is search for virtual cockpit this will bring up um, all of the ones with a virtual cockpit otherwise you'll just get that 2d cockpit which is not very nice Um, so I'm going for the Lufthansa Cargo 777 and yeah, just have a little look at it, it actually looks quite good. And if we go down, we see other users have already commented um, and we just get a brief overview on the screen. You need to click download, not the advert, but the actual download with the plane on. And um, you can actually subscribe to be a pro. Uh, that has all the perks, but really you don't need it. You um, click on download where it says free. And then you will get a tab in the bottom left. Obviously this will take some time, but yeah. Obviously it does when it's free. So it's been about 10 minutes now and the file is fully downloaded. Keep in mind that this is quite a big file. So you're going to click the up arrow. Show in folder. Now this will take you to your downloads folder. And then click cut. Because you want to cut it out of your downloads folder and bring it to your flight simulator folder. Now what you want to do is click on this PC. That's in the menu to your left. Now th from this point onwards it really depends on where your Steam folder is. Uh, for me it's on a separate hard drive so mine's going to be in the A drive but for most people who haven't messed with the PCs it's probably going to be in the C drive. So once you know where it is you need to click on the Steam library folder, Steam apps, common, FSX, And then find your way down to sim objects. Uh, this is going to be the objects in the sim. So you find a bunch of things here. You want to click on the airplanes because that's what you want to modify. Uh, as you can see I've downloaded quite a lot. Well actually a lot of planes. Um, down to the bottom these are just my NPC planes. The ones that fly about. Just so it's more realistic. Uh, so what you want to do now. Uh, you want to right click on an empty space and then click paste. This will paste your zip folder. Um, and if you don't have WinRAR, you will need to download that. Um, so after this, you need to click extract to the folder. Um, so for me, it's Lufthansa, Cargo, Posky, yeah, whatever. And then this will unzip the folder. You'll need to find that. And see here, that is the unzip folder. So now we've found that, we need to delete the zip folder. 
Once it's deleted, you can go on ahead and open the unzip folder up. Uh, you'll f always find that, like a website link, but just click on the folder. Um, so you'll get quite a lot of things here, but the most important thing, whenever you download an edit, you need to click read me. It should be a text document. So once this is open, you want to just have a quick look at it. It'll tell you where, like, specific files and stuff, where they need to go. Um, we need to find the gauges file, which is a .gau. We need to copy that. And we need to go back into the main folder, the main FSX folder, and find the gauges folder to put the gauges um, file in. So if we go down, we'll find the gauges is right there. And then we need to paste the .gau file in there. This is what will make it work. One of the most important things when installing something, you have to make sure you read the README text document. And now if we look at the notepad document, it says underneath that we need to copy the msvcr70.dll into your main directory folder. What we need to do, we need to right click on the file and then hit copy. And we need to go to the main directory folder, which is basically just, well, the main fsx folder. So we need to do a right click and then paste, and that will paste it into the main directory. This is the main FSX folder where everything is. The sim objects folder, the gauges folder, everything. And then now we are almost done. So we go back to sim objects, airplanes, and then back to our Lufthansa folder. So what we need to do now, we need to get the actual plane folder. Uh, we can tell it's the plane because it has the model panel and sound stuff like that. It's the folder with all of that in and it'll usually be clearly labelled. Uh, so my one is the POSKY777. We need to cut this and then bring it into our airplanes folder. This is where all of the other airplanes are and hit paste. Now this is 100% done now. Um, for make it look tidy we need to get rid of this it might interfere um, it's just better to get rid of it and yeah that's pretty much it we should um, always go and see if it's worked after you've done it uh, so we'll start up FSX now so once flight simulator is opened you just want to click free flight in the current aircraft section click change and you'll be able to scroll through all of my planes um, or all of your planes and see all of them if this appears just click run and then click no and then wow that looks brilliant the only way to see if it really works is to fly it so let's go and start up the sim